Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, I'm going to talk briefly, briefly about some aspects of the importance of Ramadan. Ramadan, the month of Ramadan, is a unique divine gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fasting in the month of Ramadan is another divine gift. And Amal Salih, doing righteous deeds in the month of Ramadan is another divine gift. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, La in shakartum la If you are grateful to me, I will increase you. I will give more. So we have to be thankful to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for these blessings, for these divine gifts. Each one of the three that I mentioned, the month of Ramadan and the fasting in the month of Ramadan and Amal Saleh in the month of Ramadan, we cannot thank Allah enough for those blessings. The month of Ramadan is very important for many reasons. Let me point out some of the virtues of this month. First of all, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Shahru Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an hudan lil-nas wa bayyinatin min al-huda wal-furqan. The month of Ramadan in which Quran was revealed. So in this month, the ultimate truth, the ultimate permanent guide, guidance was revealed. What will make you understand what Quran is? The Quran is the key to our success. Quran is the ultimate truth and is the permanent guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was revealed in this month. Second important things in this month of Ramadan is that when Ramadan comes, the gates of Jannah are open. The gates of Jannah are closed throughout the year until Ramadan comes and then the gate will be open. This symbolizes that the Jannah is the abode of those who fast. And the gates of hellfire are closed. The gates of hellfire, Jahannam, are open throughout the year until Ramadan comes. This also symbolizes that Jahannam is not the house of everyone who fasts accordingly. The wicked among jinns, shayateen, are chained in these months to, so that we can fast accordingly. But fasting in the month of Ramadan itself is another blessing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, according to the hadith of Qudsi, Kullu amal ibn Adam alahu illa sawmu fa innahu li wa ana ajzibi. Everything these that we do, the son of Adam does, is doing for himself, except fast, Allah say, is for me. And I will reward for that. Imagine that the most generous person in today's world saying that I'm going to reward you, you will as expect a huge reward. Hata Muqtai is known as one of the generous people. When he says he's going to reward you, definitely you are expecting a huge reward. What about the 
most generous. I'm not comparing Allah's generosity with the human beings. I can't dare to do that, and nobody can do that. I'm just giving an example. When Allah said, I will reward for it, and that means we are going to receive a very huge reward, unlimited reward if you wish. That is another blessing. That is only blessing we have, we find in Ramadan. We have it in Ramadan. In other months, when you do some hasanat, the hasanat is in tenfold. Ashara. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you da'if liman yashaw, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives more for whomever he wishes. But in Ramadan, from 700 to indefinite. Infinitive. This is a, itself is a great blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Say, Allah say, I will reward for it. I will give reward for that. Subhanallah. But this is a very great blessing and gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then al amal salih itself. al amal salih although as I talk about it. So, fasting, the match itself, is a great and unique a divine gift. The same thing, fasting in the month of Ramadan and amal salih But, we have to be very careful, brothers and sisters in Islam. We cannot earn these blessings except that we fast accordingly. What I mean by accordingly here, it means according to the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us in authentic hadith, Man sama ramadani iman wa tisaman ghufira lahum wa tqadam min dhambi. Whoever fasts be, uh, based on, on iman, and expecting reward from Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will have all his sins forgiven. In other narration, man qama Ramadan, who stands, means who prays in Ramadan, long prayer. So, and also Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Rubba sa'imin laysa lahu, Perhaps some people fast, they don't get anything from their fast except hunger and thirsty. And Prophet is talking about the real meaning of the fasting when he says, Man lam yada qawla zuri wal amala bihi, falaysa lillahi hajatun. Whoever didn't give up lying and acting upon lying in the month of Ramadan when he's fasting, Allah doesn't need from him to abstain from eating and drinking because he's wasting his time. May Allah have mercy upon Imam al-Ghazali, who, who sum up the accepted fasting and rejected fasting. He deduced that from the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Imam al-Ghazali divided the fasting into three. Number one, sawm al the fasting of common people. That is abstaining from uh, uh, eating, drinking, and physical relationship during the day of Ramadan. Common people do that. But they do not abstain. They do not, they don't control their tongue and eyes and hands. And the second type of fasting, which is acceptable, Somul Khusus, the fasting of special people. Those are the people who, when they fast, the whole bodies fast, the whole limbs fast. They abstain from eating, drinking, and all these things. They control their eyes, they control their tongue, 
If anybody pick fight with them, they say Allahumma inni sa'im. And they do the, all the amal salih, they don't waste that time in sleeping, watching TV, watch, playing games, and so on. And then the third types of fasting is so khusus uh, khusus special fasting of special special people and those are the people who abstain from everything controlling their tongue and uh, they don't hear any bad things controlling their eyes hands feet and doing all the amal salah, even they don't think about the food that they are going to break fast with. Nothing wrong to plan uh, that and, um, and what, at the breakfast, this is what I'm going to do. But those khusus al khusus, uh, what their focus is on Allah's pray, uh, and the pleasure. Whatever they find, they eat. So my brothers and sisters in Islam, at least trying to be um, your fast to be the fast of uh, al khusus special people. Now, having said this, let me conclude my short reminder, my short khatira, with uh, what I call fiqh al-amal fi Ramadan. Means, in other words, priorities. What kind of amal salia we should give priority to? Definitely recitation, recitation of the Quran. Recitation of Quran is the one of the the um, uh, the best day to do in the fasting of Ramadan. We have to divide it into two. One, we just read it without even paying attention, and the second type of the reading that we should do in the Quran, uh, in Ramadan, to ponder, to double, reflect on the Quran. The second things that we can do is our Qiyamul Layl, or Salatul Taraweeh. We should pray Salatul Taraweeh. All this is the Amal Salih. But one thing struck me and it captured my attention in terms of al amal salih And this amal salih it should be done in the month of Ramadan. That is a surah, an uh, uh, ayah in Surah Al-Munafiqeen, uh, Munafiqoon, I believe, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَأَنْفِقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقَنَاكُمْ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَأْتِيَ أَحْدَكُمُ الْمَوْتِ فَيَقُولَ رَبِّ لَوْلَا أَخَرْتَنِي إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ قَرِيبٍ He said, فَأَصَدَّقَ Allah said, spend your money in Fisabilillah, in whatever, in the good, in whatever help Islam to spread, to grow, before the death comes to you. And when they would death come to you, then you say, oh Allah, give me a chance, few minutes. Few minutes to do what? For usalli, la. For ahuj, la. He said, for asadaka, to give sadaqa. This sadaqa can be zakah, it can be uh, general sadaqa. So giving sadaqah is very, very important, my brothers and sisters in Islam, in this month of Ramadan. Our Muslims understand that. That's why most of us give our zakat in Ramadan. Fine, give zakat. If your zakat is 20,000, you give in Ramadan, please try to give equal, try to give sadaqah equal to 20,000. Or more than that. Or half of it. Where you give this money to, where, where you spend this money, you spend this money in what I call three in one. Three in one means you invest in with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in one thing, but you get your reward from three different sources. You spend this money 
I know, and our money, zakat, we can give it to an aitam, orphans, we can give it to masakin, the eight categories that Allah mentioned. But this sadaqah that I'm talking about here for a sadaqah, oh Allah, give me more chance, little chance, so I will give sadaqah. I mentioned that the sadaqah, this sadaqah can be zakah, it can be non zakah. Spend it in Islamic institution. Three in one. When we give to the Islamic institution, say for instance, like MIFTA and the other institution, MIFTA, you are investing in three ways. Number one, Sadaqa Tujaria, become Sadaqa Tujaria. Number two, you are helping to spread Imu Nafia. Number three, you are helping to create to uh, create an awareness of Sadaq. You are helping to produce one of the Sadaq that will pray for his father, or pray for you, my brothers and sisters in Islam. So my brothers and sisters in Islam, Wallahi, giving Sadaqah is one of the um, important Amal Sadaq. We have to give it priority in this month of Ramadan. I know all of you are, are planning to give your zakah. Yes, zakah to me, it can be given to an uh, institution, Islamic institution. But if you are not believing in that, give your zakah to the Islamic institution. I really, really and encourage the brothers and sisters in Islam to give the zakah to the Islamic institution and one of the best Islamic institutions to give is Miftah. Not because I'm teaching here, I'm eyewitness. I had opportunity to teach the uh, advanced class here. I was so impressed by what these young men are learning, but what they study in. They read, we read classical book. Without Arab, they read with Arab and understanding very well. You, you find no difference between them and those who study in the, uh, in, in the Muslim world. They can, they can be compared with anyone who's studying overseas. That's why I'm inviting all of us to really spend, to give zakah, to give our, uh, I would give sadaqah, sadaqah to the Islamic institution like an Mimifta uh, um, uh, and the others. My brothers and sisters and sister in Islam, this is, your brother, this is your brother in Islam, Ali Suleiman Ali. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.